You became the first marquee player to switch to the to the ABA when you sided with Oakland uh, following that finals loss. Uh, why did you make the switch? Well, I was a first-team All-Pro, as you mentioned, in my, my rookie year. I was first-team All-Pro in my second year. Uh, I was the All-Star MVP. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so... And, and we almost won an NBA title, and I didn't have fun. And basketball had always been fun for me. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, and God rest his soul, and I really liked him as a person, Bill Sharman was our coach, and Bill Sharman was the one that started these morning shoot-around garbage that they do, which I still hate to this day. I uh, hated it as a coach, but if you didn't do it, it was like you weren't doing your job as a coach. You know, I mean, My big thing is, and Will Chamberlain had the greatest answer to it. When Bill left, he went and coached L.A. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so we'd have to get up in the morning, and go shoot. Now, back in those days, we would just have jeans and our sneaks on. I know what it was for, get you out of bed, right? Mm-hmm. That, you know, because you didn't want to have, didn't have somebody staying in bed and leave your game there because a lot of times, you know, we had, a lot of times, I mean, we always had to fly commercial. And, and so you get done with the game, by the time you unwind and you fall asleep, it's, you know, it's after midnight, one in the morning, whatever it is, you got to get up at 5.30 or 6 to catch the first commercial flight to mm-hmm. go to the next city. And so, and then the guys would get there and they jump in bed and stuff. And he just didn't want guys laying around in bed all day. And I understood that. So, but on my thing is, is that, and he was saying, oh, well, you know, you want to get used to the baskets and everything. I said, yeah, but I also don't want to be tired for the game. So why don't you just get us up, go into a room, a meeting room at the hotel, walk through what you want to walk through, have a little thing, get you out of bed, would accomplish the same thing. And I don't have to expend any energy. So that's my whole thing. I mean, I got to play, I'm going to play 40 something minutes a game that night. Why do I want to use any energy at all at nine or 10 o'clock in the morning? <laughs> it just didn't make any sense to me. Mm-hmm. So we did that. And so here's the great part of the story. So Wilt, when he's down there, Bill Starman starts doing that same stuff and all. And Wilt says to him, Bill, look, here's the deal. He said, I'm going to show up at the arena when we have, you know, either, I'm going to show up at the arena either at 10 in the morning or seven at night. What time do you want me there? <laughs> yeah, especially with crazy traffic, that comment really makes sense. <laughs> well, why would you want to? I mean, seriously, why? And now it's a full workout. The guys are dressed up. They do. They run. They do. Why do I want to do that? I mean, seriously. I mean, if I have to use and expend a, a tremendous amount of energy and effort and, and mental focus. In the night, at night, at 7 or 7.30 or 8 o'clock, depending on the game, is why do I want to do anything at all to detract from that at 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning? Seriously. To have less energy. What, what, what is it? Yeah, exactly. Why would I do that? Why do I want to do that? I, you know, if I wanted to go out, I only, I, and I would not, guys would out and do their shooting around before they even come out for the warm-ups, right? I didn't even do that when I played. Mm-hmm. Why do I want to use any energy at all? I have enough time before the game to get loose and warmed up. And, and I don't understand why the NBA doesn't do what they do over in Europe, you know, international basketball. Mm-hmm. After they have the intros, they give you two more minutes to go out and loosen up again before you play the game. Here, you warm up, you do this. Now you got to sit, you got to go through all the introductions, stand around, do this, national anthems, everything else. Now go out and play. Well, I just got, I'm not loose anymore. Yeah. yeah. Makes no uh, sense. Yeah, exactly. Maybe, maybe NBA should incorporate some European ways. <laughs> Well, they should, but there's some of the European stuff that I liked before is when the officials didn't huff the handle of the ball. You go, you pick it up, you run out of bounds, and you throw it, and you could really play fast break basketball that way. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. there's a lot of things. So, hey, let's, I want to start talking about Europe. Why don't they do some of the things in the real world? Like you go into a hotel in Europe and everything, and it's really dim. And when you go, all of a sudden, there's an electric eye. It turns it on, and the hallway lights get on. Or you go in, and you have two <laughs> buttons to push. You have two buttons to push on the toilet. One for one, two for two. You don't use as much water. And then you go into the hotel rooms. First time I ever saw it, you take your key. You have to stick it in to turn on the electricity to get your air conditioning working instead of having it run all the time. I and mean, there's so many things that they do overseas that make so much sense that we need to incorporate over here. So anyway, I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> I totally agree with you. Uh...